Hi, welcome to another craft video from the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. I'm Cheryl and I teach the craft classes at the main library. Today's craft video is to accompany a kit that we will be giving out at the main library starting July 1st, 2021. If you don't have the kit or it's past July and you're watching this later, I'll tell you everything you need to make this project. Today we are making a pendant in the shape of a peacock tail feather. Because our summer reading program, the theme is Tales and Tales, Animal Tales and Book Tales, I'm doing this lovely little peacock tail feather. And it's all polymer clay and you wear it as a necklace. So let's get started. So in the kit you will get four kinds of clay. This is Sculpey Clay in leaf green, gold, blue, and teal pearl. If you do not have the kit, take your clay, roll it into a ball, and make a disc of each color about a quarter of an inch thick. Your green clay should make a disc about one and one-fourth inches across. Your goal should be about Five eighths inches across and your blue and your teal should be about three eighths inches across and that will give you the proper amounts. Alright so we're going to be working on a paper surface today so you'll just need a piece of paper and we're also going to be using a pencil that you'll need to use. This is going to be used to help shape the clay. Now, when working with polymer clay, it's best not to work on plastic because the plastic, the plasticizers in the polymer clay can interact with the plastic of your surface. Also, do not work with polymer clay on anything that's going to be used for food. So don't work on a plate or um, a baking sheet or anything like that that you're going to be using for food later on. It's easiest just to work on a piece of paper. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the dark blue. When you get the dark blue we're going to take it and separate it into two equal size balls. Pretty much more or less equal. We're going to set one aside for right now and work with one half. We're going to roll this into a nice ball and we're going to flatten it. And in the kit, I have instructions with a little circle. You want to try and make it about that size. And if it's a little too big, you want to flatten it pretty thinly. You might have to take a little bit extra off. And we're going to flatten it to about that size of a circle. Like that. If you don't have the kit, this is about 3 8 inch across. Now we're going to take the pencil and we're going to make a little groove in here. We're going to make a little slot and open it up like that. So you kind of get a little Pac-Man looking thing. Now we're going to take the teal and we're going to roll it into a ball and then we're going to flatten it into a circle that is a little bit bigger than our blue piece. I want it even a little bit bigger. Okay. Try and get it even. There we go. That's about the right size. Now we're going to push this together so that it 
seals together nicely. Don't worry about distorting the shape because a peacock feather, that just makes it more organic. Now we're going to set this aside and we're going to work with the gold. Now with the gold, you should start with a, a ball and then we're going to flatten it into a disc and then we're going to make an egg shape with this one. So you want to take one side of your gold disc and just pinch it a little bit. Not enough so that it makes a point, but just enough so that it kind of gets this shape like an egg. Now you're going to flatten it and make it out, but not losing that egg shape. And we're going to make it so that this part sits right in there with a little bit of gold around it. And then you're going to put this on top of that with that little notch in the dark blue at the big end. And we're going to push this down and then we're going to seal around the edges. Make sure the edges kind of are, are smooshed down a little bit but don't squish too much. And if you want to get your fingerprints off of there, you can take a little piece of paper, and I like to take just a little piece of paper and kind of lightly buff like this, and that kind of gets my fingerprints off of there. All right, so that's the center part. Now we're gonna gently pry this up with a fingernail. You work on wax paper um, that will come up a little bit easier and if you've distorted it a little bit just kind of fix the shape a little and set this aside now we're going to work with the green now we're going to need to make three balls out of the green a small a medium and a large ball and we're going to roll it into a ball and we're going to flatten it about a quarter of an inch thick and we're going to test the sizes. In your kit I have in the instructions a picture of the different balls and how it should be. And that one is about the right size but these two are obviously a little bit too close in size. So I'm going to take some off of one and put it on another. Push that down and I'm going to test that. Okay, that's closer. Let's see how this one is. Flatten it to about a quarter of an inch. Test it with that. Alrighty. So those look pretty good. So you see those are the different sizes you will need for your peacock feather. We're going to take the larger green. We're going to set the two smaller ones aside. We're going to take the larger green and we're going to do exactly what we did for the gold and make an egg shape except make it bigger. I'm going to uh, pinch the edges a little bit to make the egg shape. Then I'm going to flatten. You can also do this if it sticks to your paper too much. You can also just do this in your hand. Just squishing it back and forth between your hand. And this one's going to get a little bit thin but not. don't get it paper thin. Just a, a little bit thinner and test it like there. And it doesn't have to be perfect shape, just so that it's in the same, in the right basic shape and size. And I'm going to do the thing with the paper again to flatten it out. Now if you have a, a roller or something like that, you can roll these out or you can use something like a spice jar as a roller. 
just turn it on its side and roll it. Uh, a glass spice jar, something like that. I found that's very useful. And we're going to look and check the size and shape. Okay. Now this is about, about right, so I'm going to push it so that it's sticking. And you can actually now push it a little bit harder to make sure all the layers are done and, and together. And just make sure all the edges are sealed. And I'm going to get my fingerprints off again. And this is what we'll have here. Now I'm going to lift this up and show you. It's not completely flat. It's actually going to be kind of uh, flat on, on the back and then kind of a little bit raised. So it's like, a, like an egg, like a fried egg. The yolk is a little bit higher. That's fine. And so that's going to be our peacock eye. And we're going to set that one just aside for a second, and we're going to work on the stem of the feather. And in your instructions, I've got size and shape you should make your, your clay. So take your medium ball of clay and kind of flatten the edges so that it's a little kind of a cylinder looking thing, flat cylinder. And then just kind of, you're going to make it about the same thickness you made the other green part. And kind of rounded shape like that. Okay. And for those of you who don't have the kit, this is about um, an inch and a half maybe a little bit more, about an inch and a half long. And that's going to form the stem of the feather. Now we're going to do a couple of things to this before we attach it. The first thing is we're going to use our pencil and we're going to make a hole that we're going to thread the ribbon through to wear it. So you just take it to the center. Don't go too close to the edge because you don't want that uh, top part to be too thin and it will break. So, right like that, just go straight down, make a hole, then I just kind of rotate my pencil to make a big enough hole to put a ribbon through, and you can flatten the back and the front, and kind of just shape it. And that's big enough to get a ribbon through while still having a nice amount so that it won't break. Don't worry about my pencil marks. Now at the bottom, if we just put this on top of there and pushed it, this part's going to get a little bit thick. So I'm going to kind of spread out this bottom part and make it a little bit thinner. Not too thin. You don't want a paper thin. That'll make a weak junction. But I'm just going to spread it out a little bit like that to form more of a connection. And I'm going to put that down there and kind of give it a little bit of connection. Now I can bring this over to the back, push it a little bit harder, and now to blend these two, what I'll do is I'll just take my finger and I'll kind of pull the clay gently. You don't want to push too hard because you're not going to squish it. You're just going to gently pull this clay so that the edges blend in and it forms more of a seal. Okay. Then you're going to do that on the other side with the green here. Now, on this you have to be very careful not to catch the gold when you're doing this. Just take the very bare edge and pull it like this. You can also use the side of your pencil to just kind of pull it down. and You're gently pulling it down and just spreading it out so that, um, so that the uh, edges are blurred. Now, I don't actually like using pencil with that because I can't feel how hard I'm pushing. and You might get weak spots if you squish it too hard. 
so I can I can feel it better with my finger if you're worried about that you you can actually leave a little bit extra green room around to make your green part a little bit bigger so that you have more green to pull alrighty so now that's done now I kind of like mine to have a little bit of a curve to them see how this one is is kind of curved I like that I think that makes it look more organic and natural so at this point I can just take this stem and kind of gently coax it into a kind of a curved shape there we go now we're going to flip it back to the back now we're going to work on these little uh, kind of feathery frond parts on the side because you know peacock feather has those little parts that kind of stick out and feather uh, we can't have them sticking out because that'll be a weak part, but we can make little ones that cur curl inward. So we're going to take this small piece of the green that we have left and pinch off a little bit. You don't need much. And just kind of make a little, roll a little tube, a little snake here. Don't make it too skinny, but kind of thin like that. Now I'm going to take, and I'm just going to pinch that in half, and I'm going to make kind of little, little vines down the side, it looks like. And just kind of seal those, kind of make sure those seal pretty well. Do that about four or five on each side. sticking pretty well. All right, so I'm going to flip it back over and we don't need the rest of this green. Okay, you should have something that looks like this. Kind of almost looks like a centipede right now, but we're going to make it look like a feather. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use our pencil now as a kind of a sculpting tool. We're going to just kind of take a line and follow the curve of your, your stem down to the gold. Don't dig too deep, you just want a little bit of a line there so that you know where things go. Now we're going to take some of the rest of the, the rest of the blue we have. You're going to take the blue and you're going to make a little tube of it. Just make it even like that. And we're going to use that for the center of the stem. The, the quill, I guess they call it. We're going to lay it down right along that line that we just drew and we're going to pinch off the top. Now we're going to flatten it so that it's secure. Now we're going to use our pencil and we're going to take the edges and we're just going to use the pencil to blend the edges in to the feather. Just gently do the same thing we did with blending the two pieces together before. Just kind of gently pull it and when it comes down here by the gold, we're not going to bring it into the gold. We're going to feather it out on either side along the top of the gold. Okay. There we go. And we have a little bit of blue left over. Now we're going to... Um, make little wispy things to make it more feather-like. We're going to take the pencil and we're going to draw lines 
from the blue stem or from the blue quill part and down just draw little kind of lines downward and outward kind of in this motion well, it's kind of hard to see you can also do this with a toothpick and it's kind of hard to see on the the film but I'll try and do a close-up when I'm done here this is why I don't have to worry about fingerprints on this part because I knew I was going to just do this anyway and you can just go over a couple of times and if they don't have to be perfect and if they if they make the edge a little ragged well that's perfectly fine because the edge of a feather is the edge of a peacock feather is not perfectly um, even on the edge it's got all sorts of little wispies around it so I'm going to bring this up closer so you can see how it looks it's just kind of textured in this direction outward and downward now we're going to take these little uh, vine pieces and we're going to fold them over kind of take the one at the top and you're going to fold it over kind of like like you're, it's putting its hands on its hips don't make it stick out too far but just enough to where you can see a little bit of a, a hole and don't push too don't push down too too much until you get it to the position you want and then you can just gently tap it down do the same thing for the one below it you're going to be going down and maybe curling I made this one curl a little bit And do the same thing for these two on the top and get down to the point where it the where one is touching the eye whether that's takes two or three little fronds is what I call them do that okay like those Now the rest of these are going to be going down here, so we want to texture this part also. We're going to texture the green like we did the top part here. And it's okay if you take a tiny bit of the gold with it, but don't go too far. Don't, don't bring the gold all the way to the edges because you want to still see that distinct uh, edge on the gold pattern here but just a little bit here and there actually makes it look more feather like so I'm gonna bring the gold and we're gonna make the little wispies in it down and out gonna do the edges this side the same way down and out the little bit of wispies okay, you might have a tiny little bit of clay don't dig in too much now to make this also feather like up here you're going to do the same thing but just gently from uh, like a center line here you can just you can gently like make a center line and then just kind of gently run a few a few lines outward and downward but don't don't push as hard as you did to carry the clay into each into the other pieces this is just just on the barely on the surface and clean your your pencil every few seconds okay you can also use a toothpick to do all of this stuff that I'm using a pencil to do I just happen to have a pencil lying around now we've got the um, textures going whoops a little piece of green now that we've got the textures going I'm going to continue on 
with my little uh, fronds, little viney things, which can go down here and kind of lay over and down along my feather to make it kind of wispy looking. I'm going to make that end curve. I'm going to make that one curve outward. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. By the way, if you pick this up, pick it up starting from the back because this part does not have the little delicate edges that you need to worry about. Okay, so I'm going to this a little bit, lift this one up, and remember don't push down until you get them where you want them, otherwise you'll never be able to get them off again. Okay. I think that's about it. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and just take the sheet that you're working on, put that on a baking sheet or a, a cake pan or something like that, stick it in the oven at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. It will smell like plastic while it's in the oven because it is basically a bakeable plastic. When it comes out, the gold, because it's metallic, and the teal, because it's a pearlescent, might have a little bit of a shimmer to them that I, I think contrasts really nicely with the green. If you want, if you're the kind of person who likes more glitter, you can certainly paint this with glitter paints. If you want a little bit of a wash of glitter, uh, or a transparent glitter nail polish. Just be careful. Don't you don't want to lose all of the delicate little um, texturing. This can be sealed with an acrylic sealer, a water-based acrylic sealer. You can you can just brush it on and seal this if you like a glossy finish. Then you'll just thread it on a ribbon. And you have your peacock tail feather pendant. Thanks for watching another craft video from the Kansas City, Kansas Public Library. I'll see you next time.